different new stuff today that was really interesting. I guess the first one's related to all the pandemic stuff. I know even some people here have said what you really need is to give people home testing kits and all that. Well, it says here, Spartan Bioscience receives Health Canada approval for fast portable COVID-19 tests. Ottawa Spartan Bioscience today announced it has received Health Canada approval for its rapid, accurate, and portable COVID-19 tests. So it looks like it's a little tiny device and they say it's supposed to give you pretty fast results. That's what they say anyways. It says Spartan's test consists of a portable DNA analyzer called the Spartan Cube, which is the size of a coffee cup. The Cube performs the test with Spartan's COVID-19 test cartridges and proprietary swabs manufactured in Ottawa. The automated test can be operated by non-laboratory personnel in a setting such as airports, border crossings, doctor's offices, pharmacies, clinics, and remote communities. So to my understanding, they will first release this to all health-related organizations, government, federal, then they'll give it to, I guess, corporations, large companies, and then afterwards, they will give it to regular people. So that's kind of interesting. Makes me wonder too, with all that emphasis of made in Canada, so to speak, whether or not a lot of people will be afraid to use things like Chinese-made products and stuff right now during this pandemic or even in the future. Because I was reading some stories how a lot of supplies, basically, they're mostly made in China. So we're basically stuck like here, like in Canada, where they're saying you should start bringing some manufacturing solutions and stuff back here. Because in situations like this, it shows you you do need your homegrown solutions as well. And as we all read, there's a ton of law enforcement, for example, using prosumer or enterprise level drones to make announcements to tell people to keep their distance. How about full size ones to transport people and all that? This one says Concordia engineers help develop an emergency response drone. Learn how the ambulance could save lives during a pandemic. Yeah, this looks like it's meant to actually carry people and all that. Rodriguez is collaborating with the International Civil Aviation Organization in developing autonomous navigation and control for ambulance an emergency response urban air mobile vehicle. It's an ambulance drone designed to transport people in tight, hazardous urban environments from their homes to the hospital. So they give you a ton of diagrams and stuff to show you how it works, like with these pictures here, like what? An emergency call, decision making, ambular takeoff, arrival destination, and then arrival at the hospital. Almost seems like it's autonomous, although I would imagine in this case, if you need to put someone in there, don't you need actual people, like a staff, to actually help the person in there as well? Although funny enough, with this too, I guess they're gonna do like a live showing where people can ask questions and all that. And he actually said here, here's a graphic novel, Future of Aviation by ICAO staff, shows a snapshot of a not too distant future. They're showing basically things like what's here. The Cabuzo flying platform maintains its position to coordinate the service drones over the city. So it's like an army of drones basically ready to take off. And then what's this? Like the Google balloon deployed at high altitude to improve connectivity above the region. Kind of makes me think of that announcement over before of that Facebook drone that's supposed to fly around and give, I guess, internet access and all that. I guess this will be the way of the future soon. I guess it begs the question too, would people see this as a good thing or would a bad thing in terms of things like recreational flying? Would it just say, clear out the airspace as they say to ban everyone from using it, I guess just personally and fun? Or will it reduce things like hysteria and all that and just get people used to it? And the last thing I saw today reminds me of that point again, what's worse during times like this, the virus itself or people? Well, look at this, what, it was posted by the Toronto police. It says, oh, something running with a knife? And holy, look at this video that someone captured of how many police officers there were trying to go after this guy. They even hit him with a car from this video here and he still kept going. Is this one of those situations where you can't use like extreme lethal force, I guess, for the guy's protection or something? Because that guy is pretty dangerous, isn't he? Running around with a knife and all that. Then again, I'm no police officer, so I don't know the procedures for this type of stuff.
today I'll do a mini color test too with a drone. Alright, see you guys later.